Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Book Minute. Uh, I've got a couple of books that I'm excited about this week. Actually, this is a really big week. Uh, this is a bunch it's of a large week. Um, Still seven days, yeah. but... Too much good yeah. stuff for to talk about everything that's on the table, so you should come down and check it out. But uh, some new stuff that I'm excited for. Um, DC's One Star Squadron, written by Mark Russell. Uh, kind of uh, Doom Patrol, that kind of thing is your bag you should check it out um if not all robots is something you're reading definitely check it out mark russell's great uh this book looks really funny uh really irreverent kind of zadarsky ish sort of tone uh perhaps um and yeah so definitely looking forward to reading that uh really looking forward to reading the second oversized issue of what's the furthest place from here by matt rosenberg and tyler boss it's like a punk rock apocalypse book the art is uh, stunning if you read four kids walking the bank we still i think we still have like one or two copies of yeah issue First one old fast. yeah we'll have some more prints on the way and maybe even some of the seven inch ones coming in that's right there's a version that comes with the seven inch but not until like midway through q1 of next year so if you want to read the book read it now it's flying off the shelves uh and chip starsky's devil's reign uh if you've been reading daredevil this kind of builds off that and if you haven't been reading daredevil and you want to read one of the best written daredevils in a long long time and best like written electros for that matter uh this is a good place to start it's a marvel event uh real street level stuff real cool and then we got some trades uh daniel warren johnson's beta ray bill finally on trade this is outstanding uh it's one of the best looking marvel books of the last year and then uh this really gorgeous uh hardcover of fun girl super not for kids uh and yeah this is a really good indie book about uh, kind of a uh, uh, near do well malcontent causing mayhem wherever she goes. Nice. How about now, you guys? Do you want to go yeah. next year? Sure. Yeah. All right. Books I'm looking forward to this week uh, include some, a lot of, yeah, pretty much all issue ones. <laughs> um, so, first one up World of Krypton. You guys know how much I love a uh, return to the origins of a planet slash. Uh, people, so I'm looking oh, forward just to say this Krypton. one. <laughs> Big fan of the return to Krypton <laughs> genre. Well, uh, you know, I have I enjoyed the Amazon return to the yeah. Amazon. So um, Amazon's not really a planet. That's why I said I know, return to the planet slash uh, people Place origin or story. Yeah, yeah. But, but yes, yeah. this one happens to be a planet. Accurate. Um, Krypton planet. Now we know. Can confirm. All right, next thing I'm looking forward to it? reading, uh, Buffy, The Last Vampire Slayer. So this is a new number one. They're restarting the numbering on Buffy. This is um, sure to be a good time, uh, I think, or will it be a bad time? Ooh. She's the last slayer. Looks kind of like an old man, uh, old man Logan, Buffy. But yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, this new number one from Dark Horse, Daisy. She is an eight foot tall teenager who has trouble fitting in i cannot imagine why um but yeah i'm looking forward to that and n next one crimson cage 1984 new orleans wrestling scene um so this one seems like a fun little jaunt uh even though there is a ton of blood on the front i, say, I think that uh, not look fun on the no i i think there is um some trouble afoot for our aspiring wrestler, so will he be able to make it to a championship? Find out. And then finally, Star Wars Crimson Rain. So this is the second installment in the War of the Bounty Hunters trilogy, and we continue um, with the um, hijinks of the uh, what was it? Crimson Syndicate, I believe, is the crime. Known for their syndicate. hijinks. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, throughout the galaxy, <laughs> you know, just doing bad hijinks. Yes, but yeah, so this is the mischief. second installment. If you enjoyed War of the Bo Bounty Hunters, this is con the continuation of the trilogy. Um, nice. Also a very good place to jump on mm -hmm. to Marvel's Star Wars, yeah. for sure, if you have not been reading. It's Charles Soul. It's number one. It's going to be sweet. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've got some things. We've got Dark Knights of Steel, issue number two. This is a Tom Taylor series. Um... It's sort of like a, I guess, sort of like a medieval um, DC universe. So, you know, we've got some medieval Superman and Batman. And uh, the first issue was really, really good. I liked it a lot. It's pretty, like, lighthearted, but uh, I enjoyed it. So I'm 
looking forward to to this. Like a fourteen oh two. Are there broadswords? That's the important. I question. believe there will be swords. Yes, swords and magic and all that. The Excellent. one in the one in twenty five variants have character sheets. Uh, yeah. What do you mm -hmm. think Batman's charisma is? Tell us in the comments. That's right. Let me know how far apart you, you think know. Batman and Superman's strengths are. Yeah. It's, it's closer it's there. than I would have imagined. Yeah. No, it's it's a little... It's They're still working on it. Uh, then we got Captain America Iron Man. Um, this is... I've really been enjoying the current Iron Man. Yeah, run. that's great. Um... So I'm looking forward to just, uh, you know, a, a little more. Just a little Captain America in there, too, for good measure. Beautiful. Yeah, so I enjoy their uh, relationship. I want to see the blossoming relationship between... Tony Stark and Captain America. Exactly. So I'm looking forward to that. Then we got Frontiersmen. This is an image book, Patrick Kindlin. Uh, this is on issue three... I, I believe this is going to be ongoing, or at least for a yeah. little, little good while. It's very weird, kind of like, um, uh, I guess, I don't know, a, a sort of retired uh, superhero coming back out for one more job. Um, issue 2 got really, really weird really fast, so I'm excited to see where this goes. Also, the author, Patrick Kinlan, came by the shop the other day and signed some copies of issue 1 and 2, so we still have those on the rack. They are signed. Um, so get those before they are gone. We, we've only got a couple left. Um, yeah, so yeah, shout out to... Three. So yeah, yeah. And then we got some trades here. I've got Ron V Swamp Thing. This series has been excellent. This is also just recently um, announced that it's going to 16 issues instead of, I think, the original 10 or so. This contains, it looks like, the first four volumes and a couple issues of Future State Swamp Thing that kind of like kicked this whole Swamp Thing off. Uh, but this has been excellent. The art in it's great. I like Swamp Thing in general, and this was like a really fresh take on the character. Uh, really good one. Uh, then we've got some manga. We've got Akira Toriyama's, what is this called? Manga Theater. So this is kind of a, a, uh, a work collecting a bunch of the acclaimed uh, creator of Dragon Ball's work throughout the years. So if you are a fan of, of shonen manga and fan of Dragon Ball, this is a very nice nice volume for the bookshelf. Maybe a good gift for the the Dragon Ball lover in your life. Or, yeah, that's right. And then um, this one, this looks really cool. So Robo Sapiens Tales of Tomorrow. This is an award-winning series. Um, I believe the first time it's being collected here. Uh, a sci-fi story. Um, it looks, the art reminds me a lot of um, Brandon Graham's um, uh, Multiple Warheads or um, Rain Like Hammers is the other one. That type of sort of like minimalistic, soft, weird futurism, I guess. Um, but manga style. So you, I think, read it the other way. As one yeah, does. Do. That's how you do it. So I'm looking forward to that one. And yeah, there's a lot more stuff yeah. on the on the table this week as well. It's a big week. Let us know what you're reading and what hijinks you're getting into. That's right. We'll see you later. Super stripped out. <laughs>